And I think they have screwed themselves six ways to Sunday on this one. All right, welcome to Talking Investing. I am Tom, and as always, this is not financial advice. Today, I want to take on the topic of the crypto legislation that was proposed yesterday. So this is broad sweeping legislation. It is in a proposal stage right now, so it is a bill, not a law. I want to go through what it says because ultimately, if and when this or something like this gets passed, it will dictate how Bitcoin, Ethereum, and all of the crypto cryptocurrencies are treated from a regulatory standpoint. So whose domain will they fall under, be it the SEC or the commodities and what the rules will be. So there's an awful lot to go through. It's a 60 something page bill. I'm not gonna go through that at all. They also issued a six page summary to this. So I'll look at that a little bit and, and talk about it. I just wanna explain what this is and what I think the ramifications are and what we can expect going forward. Because obviously the fate of cryptocurrency in the United States states rests on wherever this legislation lands. We talk about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency and the Bitcoin miners all the time on this channel. So if that's content that you're interested in, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Also, if you would do us a big favor and smash the like button, that helps us out a lot and gets this video out to more people. I think this one in particular is something that people should see because this is the beginning of what I think is a very long process. Lastly, in the pinned comment, you'll see a link to our free discord. So you're welcome to join us over there. So let's talk about the bill. Okay, the first thing I want to do is just read a few headlines. And this just goes to show you that basically this is in the eye of the beholder. This bill is interpreted in many different ways. So I'm going to give you some of the big news organizations and tell you how they led with this. So Barron says a pair of senators released a long awaited crypto bill today. What's in it? So I'm going to circle back to this one and we'll read this one a little bit. So that was very generic. The Associated Press says amid crypto turmoil, senators proposed sweeping over oversight. Okay, so that's a little bit different of an angle. Market Watch says bipartisan crypto bill would have CFTC oversee Bitcoin, Ethereum, and most other digital assets. So that is to say that they would be mostly classified as commodities, not securities. CNBC says bipartisan crypto regulatory overhaul would treat most digital assets as commodities under the CFTC oversight. Lastly, the Wall Street Journal says senators propose industry-friendly cryptocurrency bill. So I wanted to end on that one because I think the general consensus is this proposal that's being brought to the Senate does seem to be very crypto friendly versus a lot of the expectations or fears that were out there. So one of the things that I think everybody agrees is holding back the price of Bitcoin, Ethereum, and all the entire cryptocurrency world is these pending regulations in the United States. We know they're coming. There will be regulations. The question is, what are they going to be and what is the effect of them going to be on each individual cryptocurrency. So I focus mostly on Bitcoin on this channel, but obviously this affects all the cryptocurrencies. I want to read just a few of the important sections from the summary of this bill. And again, it's a 60 something page bill. So there's an awful lot of information in there. They cover a lot of ground. They talk about the tax consequences for consumers and that kind of stuff. And that's not really the fear, uncertainty and doubt that's hanging over the head of the cryptocurrency world. The fear is how are these going to be regulated? So I'm going to really stick to addressing the regulation issues because that is one of two or three main things I think that is currently holding back the crypto world from turning into what it's ultimately going to be. This bill as proposed is the first giant step towards getting to that answer. Now I will tell you this is a proposal to Congress. It is unlikely that they will agree on anything prior to the elections which are in November and then the new Congress isn't seated I believe until next January. So in reality, we're not likely to get anything definitive until sometime early 2023 or maybe mid-2023. However, this is an excellent conversation starter. This is a framework from which they can debate between now and then to try to get to the bill they're ultimately going to pass. And again, this is a bipartisan bill and it is very cryptocurrency friendly. It's starting from a good place from my perspective as somebody that invests in the cryptocurrency world. And this is a thousand miles away from some of the major concerns that people have over potential regulation. Okay, so I'm just going to read a little bit of this one. The Wall Street Journal, Senators propose industry-friendly cryptocurrency bill. Okay, Washington, a pair of U.S. Senators unveiled legislation that would create special exemptions to federal law for some cryptocurrencies amid an intensifying lobbying push by the industry to avoid existing regulations. Okay, so that's the opinion of the Wall Street Journal. That really doesn't go to the facts of what was 
written up in here, but, but this next paragraph does. Senator Cynthia Loomis, Republican from Wyoming, and Kirsten Gillibrand, Democrat from New York, outlined a bill Tuesday dubbed the Responsible Financial Innovation Act, which aims to create a complete regulatory framework for digital assets. So note this is a bipartisan bill. So ultimately I do think it does hold a lot of weight. It's just that not much is likely to get done until we get through our elections and have our newly elected representatives sit down in late January of 2023. In a joint press release, they said that it would balance the crypto market's need for guardrails and consumer protections with a desire to promote financial innovation. Quote, as this industry continues to grow, it is critical that Congress carefully crafts legislation that promotes innovation while protecting the consumer against bad actors, Ms. Loomis said. So here they say, Congress aide said this bill has little chance of advancing this year through the Senate, which is controlled by Democrats. Similar legislation introduced by crypto-friendly lawmakers in the House has languished. So that doesn't mean that nothing is going to happen. This is an important bill. This is a bipartisan bill. So I do think it's going to get a very close look. Some derivative of this is going to end up being what is in the final bill. Okay, SEC Chairman Gary Gensler has said most cryptocurrency currencies meet the definition of a security and should register with the agency. Okay, so he's been long on record on that, but I do want to take a little break to an article that just came out the other day. So this was just a few days ago. Gensler, Bitcoin may be a commodity, and then I'm going to give you his exact quote. SEC Gary Gensler has long argued that many cryptocurrencies are subject to regulation as securities, but he recently clarified that this view wouldn't apply to the best-known cryptocurrency, Bitcoin. Gensler told the House Appropriations Committee last week that the SEC has jurisdiction over probably a vast number of cryptocurrencies in circulation and then quote bitcoin maybe that's a commodity token that has a big market value but that goes over there gensler said referring to another regulator the cftc making it a commodity so You've got the head of the SEC already basically on record saying that he believes Bitcoin is a commodity. That's consistent with this bill. This bill also tries to go on and say that the vast majority of cryptocurrency is a commodity and should be under the auspices of the CFTC. So that I think will be debated over time. However, it does look more and more with Ginsler making this statement and then this, this bill proposal coming out, it does seem we are heading in the direction where almost certainly Bitcoin is going to be treated as a commodity, not as a security. You're seeing what I'm seeing here, so this is what it looks like. This is what all indications are pointing to, but we will have to wait for the final legislation to understand whether or not that is the case. Under the Loomis Gillibrand bill, digital tokens that are sufficiently decentralized, a legally murky designation, most often associated with Bitcoin, the largest cryptocurrency, would be treated as commodities like gold or wheat. The Commodity Futures Trading Commission, that's the CFTC, would be granted new authority to regulate so-called spot markets for such assets. Currently, the agency only has power to oversee derivative markets for commodities. Okay, so this brings up a point for me. They talk about decentralized and how that's a legally murky designation. They then get into something that's even more unclear, and I want to go over to the summary of the bill to discuss that. Okay, so this is the official summary of the Loomis Gillibrand Responsible Financial Innovation Act. Section by section overview, and I'm going to skip to section three. Section one is definitions. Section two is responsible taxation. So this goes through a lot of how the consumers will be taxed and it's actually quite beneficial to the consumer. So this is a very consumer friendly bill as well. What I wanna to skip to is title three, responsible securities innovation. For the first time, this bill makes a clear distinction between digital assets that are commodities or securities by examining the rights or powers conveyed to the consumer, bringing digital assets into the regulatory perimeter from the current vacuum. Okay, here's where things get dicey in my opinion opinion, and I think they have screwed themselves six ways to Sunday on this one. This is going to leave open a massive, massive room for debate because this is already a massive debate. So let me tell you what I'm talking about. Loomis Gillibrand accomplishes this by codifying existing precedents under the Howey test. This one sentence right here, which is really the gist of the whole entire bill, this is their argument for why the cryptocurrency should be treated as a commodity instead of a security. But the problem is they want to codify what's called the Howey 
test. And that is a test from a U.S. Supreme Court case back, I think, in the 1940s. There's four parameters which something must pass in order to be considered a security. And this has been massively debated in the cryptocurrency world. So this is not a new concept to cryptocurrency, and particular in the argument of proof of work versus proof of stake. There are many, in fact, as I search through the internet, I would say the majority of people are arguing that proof of stake actually fails the Howey test and as a result would make anything that uses proof of stake a security under, and it would fall under the SEC. However, this bill is arguing that under the Howey test, Ethereum and all the others under this rule that it's an ancillary asset all pass the Howey test and as a result, they would be considered commodities, not securities. So this piece right here is something that is gonna be very hotly debated. So I'm not gonna go through the Howey test right here. If you guys want me to do a separate video, I will go through and do a deep dive on the Howey test and why it may or may not apply to cryptocurrencies. I actually, as I read it, it seems to me that things that are proof of stake probably do fail the Howey test. And in addition to that, any cryptocurrency that burns crypto along with several other things, put it in, put them into a gray area. So I'm not sure where all this is going to land. The one thing that I will say is right now, this bill is arguing that basically the vast majority of cryptocurrencies are commodities based on the Howey test. So certainly that would apply to Bitcoin and Ethereum and all of the large ones. However, also in this bill, the SEC has the right to sue and have a decision made on a case-by-case -case basis. So to me, this is where they're creating a potential scenario that you know could drag on with different currencies. We've seen how long this XRP case has gone on. So we certainly do not want each one of these cryptocurrencies to fall under that realm. So some work needs to be done here, in my opinion. Some further clarification has to happen, particularly pertaining to the very large cryptocurrencies. Now, again, I will tell you, Gary Gensler already has said on record that he believes that Bitcoin is a commodity. So he would be the last person standing in line arguing that it's a security. So if even he's not arguing that it's a security, it is highly likely that Bitcoin will not be treated as a security and it will fall under the commodities. It looks like they're making a large push to include a lot of the other major coins, such as Ethereum, as commodities as well. However, that remains to be seen. So in summary, I think we have two different situations. This is a big step forward, but we need to remember this is a bill, not a law. It's probably going to be at least a year before we get a law on this, but this does give some excellent, excellent foundation and talking points for people to start to work around to get to whatever is ultimately going to be the rule of law here. And lastly, I would reiterate that it seems to me that under any scenario, Bitcoin is almost certainly going to be considered a a commodity. I think the weight of that hanging over Bitcoin's head will dissipate long before this bill is passed. So that's my quick summary. By no means is that all encompassing. Please, this is not financial advice. If you want more information on this bill, you can actually look it up and read it. It is rather long, but it's out there. Those are my thoughts on this new pending legislation. Thanks so much for watching. If you made it this far, please remember to subscribe to the channel and smash the like button. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next video.